Good day, everyone, and welcome to the next installment of BitsuCraft. Alright, let's get started with today's episode. Okay, everybody, I burnt through nine, count them, nine cobblestone axes and uh, collected up as much wood as that would give me. I've got myself, let's have a look, see. yeah, whole whack load of oak, uh, you know, two and a half stacks of spruce, and a tiny little bit of birch. I'm not sure if I'm going to, well, two stacks, I guess. I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for. Probably fences or something, just to have a little splash of brighter color. And uh, yeah, now I've made myself up a handful of stone pickaxes. Now let's go check out that mine. I, kind of, I just widened this out. It was already a natural kind of diagonal staircase. So I thought, hey, that looks kind of cool. I'm going to keep that. So I just, you know, cleaned up the edges like that. And eventually, once, once the... Once this cave system is kind of exhausted, I'll probably start building my mining operation down here. But, in the meantime, let's just do a little bit of an exploration through this cave. See what, see what resources are sitting here just right for the picking. And hopefully not get blasted by a friggin' skeleton. Yeah, if you if you missed it on the stream, I've already had my first death. Yeah. Coming out of the little woodshed, having spent the night to Ooh. That doesn't no. Nope. Don't wanna fall down there. Hmm. 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 <laughs> uh, oh, this probably just loops around underneath. Okay. So if I build a staircase on this side where I'm getting friggin' shot at from. Yes, as I was saying, I spent the night in the little crappy woodshed, you know, hoping to safely sleep the night away and wake up to a new dawn and continue continue farming my wood left and got cornered by a skeleton and he must have got a headshot or something I, I don't know what my my health status was before I got hit but I died like instantly it was kind of pathetic you know, by the time I noticed I was being attacked boom I was a pile of wood and crap strewn all over the place don't want to go down there yet. I hear critters. I should make some torches first. But for that, I need this coal. Eh. That was a baby zombie, wasn't it? I don't like those little ankle biters. They are such a pain. They're so fast. I'm playing this really cautious of chicken because, well, I, I did just die. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring that much wood. Crap. All right, that's uh, not going to be a lot of torches now, is it? Eh, it's a healthy start, I guess. All righty. Let's just sprint around. Put one there, and we'll put one there, and nice, cool. This continues, but it's closed off, so that we're, we're safe from that direction. Uh, and this, yeah, it does look like it loops around underneath. Oh, and then forks off again. Okay, we can go down here. But not yet. I want to make sure that this is well lit up too. And ooh, 
Okay, this leads to outside, it looks like. Or, yep. Cool. So we'll get natural light down here. But we've also got the chance of mob spawns dropping directly onto our heads. Hooray! That's always fun. And, oh, okay, cool. This seems to continue on a good ways. Nice. Oh, yes. Wow. Mad skills, yo. Not quite used to this auto jump thing. I think I might turn it off. It, uh. Hmm? There's lava right there. Did you see that lighting glitch? It was kind of seeping through the cracks here. And you can hear the gloopity gloop. Hmm. Okay, that was actually kind of disappointing and uneventful. I thought that was going to go deeper. And there isn't even any. No resources on the walls. Dang it. ton of iron. I do plan on eventually, I say eventually because it will be a long time from now, but I think one of my first big builds I want to do is actually going to be a combo uh, villager breeder slash trading system that doubles as an iron farm. So that would be, it's going to be huge, so I might as well get as much out of it as I can is, uh, is the thought process there. I'm thinking that I will have it all self-contained in one big unit rather than having, you know, a villager breeder over here and then a iron farm over there and then a trading post over yonder. Just incorporate it all into one massive build. Which I think I'm going to want to do pretty quick, actually. Once I get my you know, base of operations set up, that is. I need somewhere to live. I need me a house. Ah, cave exploring. It really is kind of relaxing for whatever reason. I don't know. Even with this super slow cobblestone pick, it's just, yeah. And it really channels into my OCD. I will, more often than not, stop and grab every single resource I see, even if I really don't need them. Just because they're there. Right now, though, we're kind of in desperate need of everything we can get our hands on because, yeah, we've we got a stone pickaxe for Pete's sake. Come on. But I'm also cheap. I don't like <laughs> I don't like using up iron on stuff like pickaxes and shovels and hoes right off the bat when when cobblestone is so plentiful. I like saving my iron for like hoppers and and does this continue down further? Yes it does. Hmm. Does this open right into a ravine or it might. It kinda looks like it goes underneath. And there is some iron right there. Yeah, let's go for it. one though. Bloop. Hmm. Do I go for it? Can I swim right? Yeah, I can swim right to the top. What the hey? Let's just throw a couple of torches down to signify this is where we came from. Whee! Hey, would you look at that? Nice. How far is it? 
far does this go? Hmm. I am out of torches already. That's not cool. Well, I really wasn't prepared for this, was I? <laughs> Big shock. Are we surprised? No. No. I won't complain. Uh, I zigged when I should have zigged. Here, let's go behind this. I, I don't want to trust lava right now either. Because after all, I'm naked. You know, business suit is not really appropriate mining attire. But, uh, oh, what can I say? You gotta look good. <laughs> and it won't hurt doing these little crappy side tunnels, too, because I really do want to collect up a butt ton of cobblestone, too, for that build. I want to make the foundation of a house out of cobblestone and then build the walls out of like oak planks and oak logs and have some accents with uh, white wool. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yay. Like this. Yeah, I'm totally going to get lost down here. I'm just going to keep following caves until I don't know where the heck I've been or where I'm coming from. Uh, don't burn me. Don't burn me. Don't burn me. Don't burn me. There we go. <laughs> already been killed by a skeleton today. I don't want to I don't want to jump into lava. That would not be cool. He says as he undermines directly into it. No, we're good there. And we're good there. Okay. Gotta love it when there's a vein of something else underneath the whatever it is you're harvesting. That's always happy news. Even if it is just coal, because just coal is pretty important right now since I don't really have much of anything just yet. I will need a butt ton of this to melt up all that iron we're finding. Almost a full stack already. And I haven't even really been exploring that well. I've just been kind of derping about. Holy man, this must be two veins of coal that just kind of connected. This is crazy amounts of coal. keeps going down. Holy crap. This is insane. I don't think I have ever seen this much coal all in one spot. We might be set for a little while after this one. Look at this. It just keeps going. He says, look at this. It's after he ran out of torches way back and hasn't placed any lighting sources down in a long time. Probably can't see a thing. Oh, there's some light. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, there's lava underneath this guy. That's interesting that the lighting effects kind of peek around the corners now. Ooh, don't get on it, dummy. That would not be cool. And it exploded. Come on. Come on. Oh, since there's a hole down there, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so if I quickly... 
put it on the side of that block and then on top. There we go. Poof duh. Now how did I get in here? I just dug my way down and down and down and down. Man, that was a huge vein. Okay. Let's pop down here just a little bit to see if there's any exposed iron. Is that cobble? No, that's diorite. That would be cool if there was a spawner down there. But I... Oh, shoot. I don't need any zombie action right now. That I can live without. Oh! Wow, what a dummy. Uh, no, that's pretty dark up there. I want to play it safe. I want to play it safe. Uh, let's just head back the direction we came. Clear out what we see on the way and head back upstairs so that we can <laughs> make some torches so we can actually see what the hell we're doing down here. And I might stop and just clear out a patch of cobble as well. I'm not sure how much I'm going to want or need for this build. I haven't really planned it out just yet, but uh, I'm planning on doing it in like the segmented style where each portion of the house is, is made using basically the same pattern. And then I can just add pieces where I want and, you know, continue it along, make it larger or or at an angle or add a story and have it all mesh well together. Well, so is the plan anyway. We shall see what it actually becomes when I get to actually building the thing. And yeah, here we go. Like I said, the OCD. The plan was to head to the surface, but look at a coal vein. Ooh, must dig coal. And some iron. See, it's worth it. Did that not... Where did... What? Did that not drop? Oh, man. Come on. The iron's what I need right now. Not cool, yo. Hmm. This has been a fruitful mining expedition. If I'm 12 levels up already, and... I died just before we came down here, so yeah, that is a goodly amount of coal. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, if you'll notice, whenever I'm exploring, I always put my torches on the right hand wall. That's just so I know if I'm walking down a cave and the torches are on the left hand wall, that's the way out. So this way I know I've already explored. And this way, hmm, oh yeah, that's that little secondary entrance. And then, aha, there we go. Right, and this loops back down around underneath. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Just one last couple of patches of iron, and I think we've got it pretty well cleaned out. At least this uh, easily accessible portion of it. I am going to leave that little that little divot over there where there's just that one block opening to show like a larger cave system behind it. I'm going to leave that shut for now. Just because I think it would probably be wise to perhaps have some armor or at the very least a friggin' sword before really going too much further. And does it? Yeah, that does loop just completely around. Okay. 
so let's get this lump of coal right here and then I think this little cave exploration might be finished oh, and we're down to our last is that our last pickaxe already that went quick all right down to our last pickaxe so I might as well actually once we get close to the surface I'm just going to continue chipping away and get as much of this cobble as I can before this pickaxe dies completely and hopefully that'll be enough to use as the the foundation and the uh, the basic kind of base structure of, of the, the house I want to build. Yeah, I have no idea how much I'm going to need. Really, literally none. I, I don't typically actually go through the time to amass my resources before I start building. I'll just start building, and then I'll be like, halfway through a wall and then oh I need some more of this and then I'll run off and harvest some more and then get back to working and five minutes into it, it'll be oh and now I've run out of blank and continually have to run back and forth which I think might be kind of irritating to be part of watching that happen so I figured I would do my best to kind of oh, I'm out of arrows nuts am I gonna be able to make it to my crappy little woodshed I don't he hasn't seen me yet so let's just make a dash there's probably a freaking skeleton in my door no run don't crouch <laughs> and we're in can we sleep yeah all right everybody I'm gonna call her quits there for today I think we've got ample resources to get started on that uh, build for the next episode yeah we'll get cracking and start building that house as always if you like what you see smack that like button and if you want to see more go ahead and subscribe and uh, feel free to drop me a comment down below uh, any questions comments concerns <laughs> suggestions anything even if you just want to say hi alrighty I will see you all on the next episode bye